What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ravens. Oh. And you are certain it will hold? We wouldn't be standing here if I wasn't. You two focus on the creature. I will worry about the collar. Haven't really seen Blade since he got back from the sewer. Carrying Hunter home on his back. He's still outside. Being extra broody. Maybe you should talk with him. Um. Good idea. I'll go with you if you like. Um, All I'm saying is the tower's lost. We're no closer to breaking through Slimerama's sanctum shield, and our exalted chosen one just woke up and is listening to our every word. Uh, it's great to see you on your feet again, boss. Well, great. That wasn't uh, a great start, was it? But before I continue, uh, let me actually finish my intro. Welcome back to another episode of Raven's Reviews. Today we're back playing some more Marvel's Midnight Suns. Last time we left off, um, we fought Venom again for like the third time. And um, we were trying to expel the corruption on him, I think. And then there was like a massive explosion. And as you can kind of see there, there's now a crack in our collar, which apparently is bad. Because... I'm pretty sure that stops the connection from Lilith, who's trying to get in contact with us. Um, we can now consistently like hear her speaking every so often. So maybe not consistently, but you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, it's it it wasn't very fun. Um, but we are back. We're here. Um, uh, before we continue with any more. If we can all please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification icon so all my videos go live. It's completely free. It means well to me. It helps me out an absolute ton. Oh, Charlie's friendship level went up. And if you want to catch up in the series, there's a playlist link in the description. I'll just go check it out. Uh, they're not letting us do anything here, so I guess we're just going to compliment Strange. Why not? Uh, and then this speaks Tony. Glad to see you back on your feet again. Strange and I tried to stop by for a little house call while you were out, but turns out your dog is part flamethrower. She is very protective. That's one word for it. Listen, I know you're probably hearing all sorts of comments after your last tangle with Venom. For what it's worth, we both just wanted to say that we don't think you should get within 50 light years of that thing until we sort out what the hell's going on between you two. This venom creature stands between me and the prophecy. Destiny demands he fall by my hand. Seems like Destiny's hit list just keeps on growing for you. How about you let some of us other heroes slay a mystical dragon or two? Look, Strange and I have been studying pieces of that symbiote ever since this nightmare began. Problem is, the further they get from the source, the more their molecular structure changes, which basically renders them useless to us. In zombie movie terms, I need a sample from Patient Zero. The old slime ball himself. Venom. Or Eddie, if you talk to Peter. Either way, that's our guy. We get a sample from him, somehow maintain its molecular integrity long enough for Strange and I to poke around at it, and, well, we're in business. Could you not just laser him and end the problem for good? Now, everyone's a scientist these days. Look. I know this thing has given you a proverbial, if not actual, black eye or two lately, but don't forget, there's a man underneath all that monster. I don't take my lasering lightly. Besides, it wouldn't work anyway. We've hit that thing with the best that technology and magic has to offer, and it just keeps coming back for more. We need to understand what makes it tick to stop it. Not to mention keep you from blowing up again anytime soon. On that, I agree. Good. Calling it my symbiote sampler for now. Hey, I ran out of acronyms, okay? Stage one in stopping our symbiote nightmare once and for all. Meet me over by ye old anvil over there and we can get started. Oh, you're not afraid of needles, right? Needles? Forget I asked. I doubt after everything we've been through, um, needles are something we need to be worried about. Oh, you are gonna love this. Um, so we got a yard schematic for combat therapy. Rapidly heals heroes all their injuries and exchanges those injuries for combat bonuses. Um, and the symbiote sampler. So I guess we'll be starting on that. Uh, gamma coil analysis. Let's do this. Uh, 
genius inventor strikes upgrade again. all cards in your hand until they are played or discarded but I take 63 damage move an enemy consume all bleed on the target to deal remaining bleed damage okay so let's take that and that I'm not gonna take that and honestly I think I'm gonna stop taking the dark route the only reason I say that is not like because it's only hurting my um, affinity with other heroes, but because all the dark cards seem to be doing me shit at the moment. They are all like deal damage to yourself, hurt yourself in terms for this. Um, and what it's just not do? fun. So I think I'm going to start going for the light path. Uh Exactly where <clears throat> oh, level 4 research. Uh, so what can we do now? Earn XP in training combat area. Um, Hydra enemies can be interrogated. Okay. Uh, what else have I got to do for this? So I've got to upgrade another blade ability. I gotta do a hero up Captain America, upgrade Spider-Man abilities. Remind me again. Nico level two. Okay. Okay. Well. Right. Anyway, so that's that part of our daily routine done. What we gotta do next? Speed to blades. There's something that we can upgrade here as well. Um upgrade abilities. No game, no game. Blade. So, can we upgrade this now? Savage. Uh, the 75. Oh, we can upgrade that for lifesteal. I think we're going to upgrade that instead. We need any advantage we can get. Cool, so that's done. Um, we can upgrade the Hellmouth, but I'm not interested in that card. We can upgrade Curse. Apply Stun 2, Mark 2, Vulnerable, or Weak 2. Um, yeah, let's We've do that. For old dogs. No excuses here. Um, cool. I think we're done there. Let's do some daily sparring. Um, where's... I can't use... Oh, no. Nico's this one. No, yeah. I, know I was going to say, I can't, I can't do this. Um, all here's on cards in the starting hand cost zero heroism. Okay, that's a good bonus. And then finally, yard upgrade. Just got enough for that, luckily. But I need to get some more credits. Assign injured combat therapy and injured for a combat bonus. Cannot go on missions. Daily sparring now grants a secondary stat bonus. Caretaker could have at least. Oh, I should have done that before I did my daily sparring. That's a shame. Um, okay, select injured heroes. Let's put Blade in the Star Project. Because Blade. Blade's a very good hero to have. And then we've actually got to speak to Blade as well. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to put Captain America on a mission if We're I can. Ready to make a move. I really want to do that, and I only need one more intel, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off. Stay out of trouble. And hopefully, I can get some um some in the next mission. Where is Blade? And why is he all the way up there? Is that where he actually is, or is the game lying to me? Agatha. Oh no, yeah. Blade is all the way over here. Okay, let's fast travel there. Hi, Blade. I hear Looking I brooding. You, you know, when you were resurrected, I was sure you wouldn't be able to overcome the darkness inside you. What do you think now? I'm beginning to think I was right. You are your mother's kid, all right. No escaping that. I am nothing like my mother, and it is offensive to suggest so. You can deny the truth of what you are all you want. Just what do you think you saw? You're telling me you don't remember what happened after that blast? Because that was some messed up shit. Tell me. 
You were crying out for your mother. Calling out her name like a lost kid at a theme park while all this crazy-ass dark energy were swirling around your body, almost taking it over. I was so sure you were about to fall that I didn't leave your side. Surprised you came too with the light still in your eyes. You need to know that I will never fall to darkness. Who are you fooling, Hunter? You ain't infallible. None of us are. I would appreciate you not sharing what you witnessed with the rest of the team. I don't plan to. It's not mine to share. I'll leave that to you. Well, damn. Well, we went up in light bonus, at least. But, um... Lost, lost friendship. As soon as I said, oh yeah, you know what, maybe we're not gonna... Maybe we're not gonna go bad. The bad option would have been better. Um, I'm just looking around seeing if there's anything else that I can pick up before we decide to head back over that way. I don't think there's anything. There was the chest up there, but again, I'm not too fast on getting that. It's only blue. I've only got four keys, so I'm not too bothered by it. Um, I haven't got anything else to do apart from, I guess I could speak to everybody to get rid of these exclamation marks, but again, not that bothered. Requires symbiote research. Okay, so, Gamma Coil, Attack Essence, Skill Essence, Heroic Essence, Gamma Coil, Intel Cache, Gamma Coil, okay, so we're going to do this one. Um, and we're going to take her, and we're going to take Spider-Man. It's a shame because she's injured. Cannot use moves. Oh, she can't move. Um, let me take... Uh, let's get rid of the redraw and put the heal in. And we'll go with that. Oh, here we go. Capture the enemy agent, summon enemy reinforcements. Okay. We've located a Hydra agent with an unusually high gamma signature, probably from working in close proximity to their recent experiments. The red storage cray gains six heroism. Energy. If we can capture that agent, we might gain some insight into Hydra's plans. Okay, so let's use gather first. And I think that three is probably the best outcome. Yeah. Do that. Good one. Um, we'll use swarm. I mean, credit portal three, credit portal three on redraw plus one moves this turn. Don't really need a movement. Um, yeah, we'll just use we we'll use swarm on this guy. Going for it. Um, and then we'll use quick kick as well. Immune to knockback. Ah, shit. Yeah, I forgot. Um. Yeah, I guess we just do that. That will do. Car play refunded. Lovely. Um, and then. I guess we'll just use this. Give some more damage to this guy, break a shield. Now's your chance. Take them into custody before they can regain their bearings. Yeah, however, that's not gonna happen, so 
Um, just trying to think here who's getting attacked. Damage is melee, attack is when block is greater than zero. Okay. Um, I don't think it really matters. I think we'll just end our turn there. I always hold a grudge. Reinforcements Thing incoming. Getting desperate. Of course, he's friendly. Okay, so magic, do you go and capture him just to get you out with the cyber doom? The movement was pretty cool. you walk off with their agents so easily. Stay alert. Defeat the we remaining need to take agents. Care of the rest of these thugs. Don't hold back. Okie dokie. Um, I hate spider sense, man. Um, what are we looking at for a topple? Is is that it? Just the one guy? We can't... Oh wait, I forgot. Um, Spider-Man, can you move... Where are we... Mm, what's that looking like? That's only two deaths. Okay, right, let's redraw Spidey Sense to see if we can get... I mean, it's good, but... Let's also redraw that limbo portal. Force will knock back towards Onkyo plus one moves. Um, okay. You're. Wait. You're dead anyway from that. Okay. Um, special delivery you into you. This one's for you! So we'll get that kill, and then oh, well, we've got one more curse. Apply to marked. I think. I think I'm gonna mark. No, curse. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, and again, I don't really feel the need for Limbo Portal right now, but I'm gonna I'm gonna open it up just in case. Um, let's move it and point it this way. And we'll end our turn there. Actually, I probably should have used the building thing on Spidey first. For your mistake. Because I feel like Spidey might go down here. Based on what goes on. Okay, now we're good. I hope you're ready. Um chain strike. Uh what we what we looking at for chain strike? Your six okay, so we can do you into you, I guess. I'm on it. Um, let's get rid of Spidey Sense. We're gonna use this. Lovely level up. Okay, that's fine, we can take that. Um, let's use Gather first. Um, and then, 
how many is that? Is that every body? Let's just try it. I honestly think that's the most I've ever grabbed in one gather. For my retaliation. Oh, now I know what I can do as well. Um, Spidey. Drop this. Oh, disgusting. Um, and then... Um, nah, it's not even... Nico, can you... Yeah. And then throw you into you. Um. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to call it there. Um, well so we're gonna go for this. To get whatever extra bonus that is. We're gonna redraw that injury, Jesus. Um, and then, uh, swarm this guy. Let's try this. Followed okay, by awesome. Curse this guy. Amazing. Work. There we go. Looks like you've got the agent in custody. Better clear out before Hydra sends a search party. Yeah, let's bounce. Let's get out of here. Two stars. Like it. Um. Cool. So hopefully that should give us some good stuffs. Um Hunter. Mm, yeah, let me I oh, can I not interact with this until the daytime. I oh, join a hangout. Okay, so who do we who wants to hang out? Um, you know what? Let's do it with Nigo. Reading by the fire. Chance to resist negative status effect, status effect, status effect. Before we do that, what is in here? Is it just a thousand jelly beans? My god. Okay, sure. And let's see if Nigo likes jelly beans. Um. Let's do... Let's have a deep conversation. I wish I knew how to cook. You could learn. Nah, that requires effort. I finally understand why Tony complains so much about the youths. <laughs> You're one to talk tricentennial. You ruined it for the rest of us with your Wainwrights and your Dropsy and your Lamplighting Guilds. Get an apprenticeship, you vagabond. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll talk to Robbie. He's good in the kitchen. What does he cook? The kind of food you can't find on this coast. A taste of home? Kinda. You don't know what you're missing until it's a distant memory, you know? More than most. Mm hmm. Can we do it again? Oh, we got a legendary hoodie. I'll have to see what that's like. Uh, but I think that's it. I guess we'll just head to bed. But before we do that, I want to see what this, what this hoodie looks like. Um, so where where are we? Uh, book club pulling strings. The fearsome four. I do like it, but I just don't like how the whole outfit changes. 
Um, Inferno Maximus. Royal E. Headband. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, that's something, I guess. I didn't even realize that was there. But anyway, let's get some sleep and hopefully we don't get bothered during the night. Nope, of course we got bothered during the night. Hi, Lilith. What do you want? Here to gloat, mother? Quite the opposite. I was concerned. I could not sense you after... Your pet monster nearly destroyed me? An unintended and unforeseen consequence of your continued assault against me. The mystical energies within our blood do not always mix well with off-worlders. But neither do the wards of your pretentious sorcerer. The venom creature is a calculated but necessary risk. Alien monstrosities? Wanda's unchecked powers coupled with Banner's unhinged mind? Whatever you are planning, Mother, I fear it may be beyond even your control. Your concern touches me, but I would risk the heavens themselves if it meant saving you. I do not need saving. Oh, but you do. And that crack in your collar is the first step. Every revolution of self starts with the tiniest of rifts, an ever so slight splinter in the glass. A hanging thread begging to be pulled until it unravels all. You should be celebrating. That crack is the beginning of your emancipation from my sister's control. She keeps you collared because she fears you. They all do. Sarah wants to hold you back from realizing your full potential. The way she tried to hold me back centuries ago. I would not need this collar had I not been corrupted by your blood. Is that what you believe? <sighs> oh, child. There is so much you must learn. But you would never believe me if I told you. Not here. Not now. You must discover those answers on your own. Once you're unshackled, you will finally be free to be yourself. And who is that? Answer me! Well, damn. Damn indeed. You are the best. Girl. I'm say hi to Charlie. You know that right. Um, and then Hunter, we've got we have finished super link message. Device. Come to the forge to have a look. Before we do that, though, let's pop in here hey, and get this decrypted. Beginning decryption sequence. That's not an option anymore. Hero ops. We've lost people before. This, this. It never gets easy. And you. Off you go. I'm here if you need me. Um. Well, we go over here. Credits. Credits are always good. Um. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Press the wrong button. She does not see it happening. Uh, go oh, here. You are gonna love this. Okay, so we got that. Um, hey boss, I got something for you. Combat item schematic gain life steal with vampiric essence as a combat item. Um, I, not really fast. Combat suit and you know, a new really passive. Just as well so let's do this. Here you are, Hunter. One symbiote sampler, hot off the old demonic presses. That is not what I expected. Yes, I for one am not going anywhere near that thing. You're a doctor. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little needle. That is most certainly not a needle. Well, you say tomato, I say one gamma-infused arc-powered laser tomato. Either way, we're good to go. Now we just have to get close enough to Venom to use it. 
And I suppose you have a plan for that too. Actually, I don't. Been too busy wrangling our friendly forge demon while ignoring Strange's advice in order to build a one-of-a-kind gamma-powered symbiote extractor that burns hot enough to pierce the sun. But basically, we just need to stick the pointy end in him and let the device do the rest. Once we jab that thing, the symbiote will be extracted and stored within the chamber. The fluid inside should maintain the sample's molecular integrity indefinitely. I, uh, based it on the saliva he left on you during that last round. I see. And does Spider-Man... Peter, think it will actually work? I'm not sure. To be honest, I've kind of been keeping him out of the loop on this one. Look, Peter's a great kid. With a big heart. He looks at Venom, and he doesn't see the same mucus monster we do. All he sees is Eddie Brock. From what he's told me, the two of them weren't exactly best friends before the symbiote got thrown into the mix. But that doesn't matter to Peter. It's not going to be easy to get that sample. We'll have to get real close. I know Peter would give anything, including his own life, to save Eddie. Guess I just don't want to see him distracted when the time comes. Look what happened to me with Bruce. Venom is not Banner, Tony, and Peter is not you. Well, that's the point. I... I look at Peter and I see... Well, maybe the person I could have been if I didn't let money, fame, and my dad's war profiteering get the best of me. Maybe I just want to keep the kid... a kid... for as long as possible. <sighs> Tony. End of the day, we gotta find Venom first before any of this matters. Given his symbiote is happily sliming its way across the five burrows, it's gonna be hard getting any kind of reading on him with conventional means, as in the non-demonically possessed kind. Thankfully, there's always Auntie Caretaker and her magic mirror. I'd check in with her. Talk to you soon, Hunter. Okay. Um... But before we do that, Gamma Coil and Analysis, let's boss. get this scanned. Take your pick, Hunter. Oh my god. Um Okay. We'll grab which No, nah, because I don't like damage a random enemy. So we'll get Gather. And I guess we'll take Spidey Sense. Not that I want to take it, but oh well. I need to upgrade his abilities, so. Um, and then, as per always, uh, combat therapy. Let's stick magic in it. Upgrade abilities. Spider-Man, Spidey Sense. Caretaker said I need to be a team player. So I guess um, I'm letting you choose got one from me too. Increased area of effect. Yep. Just Grabbing that. Like Topple and falling trap training. Objects deal increased damage in combat. Okay, that's sweet. Um, daily sparring. I haven't got enough credits for it. So we're not going to. See you around. Um... No, who we got to speak to? Peter, book up meeting. Talk to Peter. Right, where is Pete? Are you... You're Pete. Hi, Pete. How are you, Peter? You tell me, Hunter. I'm out of the loop on everything. They're off discussing what to do about Venom, and no one has said a word to me about it. Maybe they are trying to protect you, Peter. They see your youth and feel the need to shield you a bit. I've saved the city I don't know how many times. What do I have to do to prove myself? Grow a goatee like Strange? I do not think that is necessary. Good. Because it would be way too itchy under the mask. I know it can be frustrating, but you should not waste time wallowing in it. I know. I should be doing something. Because right now I feel kind of useless. Maybe I'll use the forge to bake a loaf of sourdough. Really get in Stark's way until he notices me. If you want Stark to pay attention to you, there are better ways to make your point than making bread. Well, I was kidding about that, but if you have suggestions... Just walk up to him and suggest a way to help. Okay, okay, you've made your point. Ah, <sighs> fine. Maybe I'll speak up. Excellent. Just give me a bit. I'm a little rusty. The Sinister Six caused me to miss out on my speech class final. 
Um, and then private message from Nico. So let's open that up and see what that says. <laughs> I should have guessed. Guessed what? That you wanted to show me another movie. Uh, not just another movie, my favorite movie. It's something I make all my friends watch with me. What makes this movie stand out from the rest? Watch and see. Why is she wearing that hideous red dress? Oh, you're tearing me apart, Hunter. Pay attention. Well, it is a bit difficult. This movie is rather terrible. It's called Camp Hunter. It's supposed to be a little bad, but in a good way. Besides, it's a cult classic, kind of like you. I will try and take that as a compliment. You're really starting to fit in with the rest of us, you know. We might just make a midnight sun out of you yet. Nice. Level one friendship. Done. And then there was a book club invitation, but that's gone now. But um, I think that's where I'm going to wrap this episode up, guys. Thank you for watching. That's Please remember to part. like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification icon so you know all my videos go live. It's completely free. It means well to me and helps me out an absolute ton. If you guys want to catch up on the series, again, play this link in the description. Um, and, yeah, I hope you all have a blessed day. And hopefully I'll see all of you and more over in the next one. Goodbye, guys.